Hi friends, welcome to Code Jana. This video is a quick intro to Langchain that's currently helping developers create amazing apps with AI and third party tools. So, what's Langchain? In a nutshell, Langchain is the middleman between AI and crucial features. Features such as dynamic prompts, third party tools like Google Search, Notion, Wolfram Alpha, etc. So, let's look at some simple programs to learn it better. To get started, you can pip install Langchain and you also need to install any of the LLMs that you want to use. And I've done nothing fancy here, it's just a Jupyter Notebook and I've imported the first program. So you don't import directly from OpenAI, you don't do that. You import from a Langchain.LLMS import OpenAI. After that, you create OpenAI object with a temperature of 0.9. Now this temperature, as far as you go to one, it will give you randomness and as low as zero, if you keep asking it again and again, you will still receive the same answer. This text is our prompt. So I asked it, what would be a good website name for AI company? So let's run it. Wonderful. So uh, it suggested me AI Genie Technologies. Now the power of LangChain comes from all of these features. And the first one we'll discuss is prompt template. So prompt templates are exactly what they sound. They are used for adding some dynamic value inside your prompt string. So as you can see that I created this prompt, all right? And these are the dynamic values that I want in my prompt that I can change well when asking for it. Now input variables are those variables that you are going to change when you're calling this prompt. And you're going to provide a value for each of these variables. Now we'll see it in a second. Right now, let me just uncomment that and print that. So as you can see, I provided ethnicity, gender, religion in this format, and it has completed the prompt for me. Tell me five good names for Indian male born in Brahmin household. So it provided the ethnicity, gender, and religion when we were formatting this prompt. All right, now let's use this prompt. So that comes in the next feature. So chains, now that's the chains from Langchains. So it can chain your LLM with your prompt template. All right, and then when you run that chain, it will first load the LLM and then provide it the template. Now, since I provided multiple input variables, so I provided ethnicity, gender, religion. So we have to provide a dictionary instead of a single string. Now, in some examples, you must have seen that uh, you can also provide chain.run and then a single string, let's say Indian. Now, this would only work if you are having only one variable here. If you're providing multiple variables, then you absolutely need a dictionary. So let me remove this and check the response. Great, so these are the names it suggested if the ethnicity is Indian, gender is male and religion is six. Now let's change it to female. Nice, so immediately the prompt template has given us new values and it is very beneficial because you don't have to write entire prompt again for just simple values. Now, if we change religion to Muslim, let's see. And we got the proper response. So Zara, Nadia, Aisha, nice. All right, so it's working. Now, let's talk about one of the most powerful feature of Langchain, so agents. Agents, as proclaimed by Langchain itself, it can be extremely powerful when used correctly. Now, agents have following moving paths. So, first LLM, then tools, and then agent itself. So, not this agent, it's initializing it. This agent type. All right, we'll discuss more about this. Now, LLM is your, well, very own large language model. So, we are using OpenAI for now. Tools are like third party feature. Uh, such as Google Search, Wolfram Alpha, Google Maps, Python REPL, etc. And there's a huge list of tools. Uh, let me open the docs again and let's go to the tools. So agents. So here's the tools. Click here. So here are all the tools that it supports and you can see that uh, that's a pretty good list. We can do a lot more with this one. And uh, yeah, they are going to keep adding more tools inside of this. I've also included the list in the description below so you can check it out. Now, LLM. Now, in this context, the LLM behaves like a guide, okay? So suppose you are asking something to do and the LLM is not able to do it, so it will actually tell the agent to use a tool to do what it is supposed to do, 
all right and it will become more clear as we go ahead so this agent so it also supports some custom agents and some default agents so let me go here again click here agents so agent types all right so zero shot react description now we are using this one so what it will do it will actually go to the tools description it will find out what it does and if that's what we want to do it will use that so we have a couple of others here and you can use what you want keep trying and you will find the agent that works for you as you can see we have imported all the necessary modules after that we have also loaded the tools like this so the order here matters so first of all you understand your prompt right if there's something that needs to be searched before being calculated you should always put the search related tool first and after that you can use the llm math now llm math is used to do some calculations so since we are using llm we also have to pass the llm here now we can initialize the agent like this so we have included the tools llm and further the agent now here you can see verbose is equal to true now what that does is now it actually prints out the chain of thoughts of how langchain figures out what we have asked so let's run it and uh, first of all take a look at this prompt so i wanted to see how much did the lion king movie and avengers endgame earn all right so for this it would have to go online and search it then keeping in mind the inflation since both of them were released find out which of them is top earner now there's a problem with this as well now let's run it first so as you can see we are getting the data so entering new agent executor chain so it has actually thought about this it will find out lion king avengers endgame box office earnings it has actually found out about uh, the gross earnings of 185 million according to studio estimates on sunday and the avengers endgame for this it has not displayed anything i've tried this multiple times and i have gotten different answers anyways so lion king has earned 1.6 billion when it adjusted for inflation now according to this lion king is uh, like top honor between the two but i searched online directly let's also take a look at that so According to this, Avengers Endgame is actually the box office king with 2.795 billion. So the answer is incorrect because uh, even with this uh, and a CNET.com, uh, after inflation, they have said that it is 1.676 billion for Lion King. So it is still behind Avengers Endgame. But our lang chain well dependent on open ai and all these tools it has said that lion king actually beat avengers and game making it the top earner of the two movies so that is incorrect i don't know if they are going to fix this in the future but some things are still broken when we search for crucial things like this now finally before wrapping up this video let's look at the memory so memory feature is like your traditional remembering of chain of events all right so it is very important when you're building chatbot now this feature lets you create chatbot quickly with langchain now let's look at this quickly so you can see that we have imported open ai and conversation chain from langchain we have initiated that and we have initiated this class as well verbose is true you know it will print out all chain of thoughts for this so first of all we are going to say hi there my name is krishna can you remember it now i will actually remove this i have tested it already and the reply is very different i want to show you so yeah the conversation was the following is a friendly conversation between human and ai all right ai is talkative and provides lots of specific details about its context all right if the ai does not know the answer to the question it truthfully says it doesn't know all right so i said hi there my name is krishna fine it replied with hi krishna it's nice to meet you my name is ai what can i do for you now i'm going to ask it i'm doing well can you remember my name so in previous conversation i told it my name let's run this all right so yeah hi there my name is krishna all their previous conversation 
and uh, it said yes your name is krishna is there anything i can help you with so it did remember our previous conversation and i only said my name in the first conversation we had so yeah the memory is working very fine and finally at the end of this video i'm also going to discuss about this ai behavior so we can change ai behavior right here in langchain you must have heard about this in open ai chat gpt4 so we can do this here as well now it's very simple you just have to import the chat models chat open ai and then you can import all the necessary classes from langchain schema so AI message, you don't need to work with that, but you have to work with human message and system message. So system message is what you set a behavior of, all right? And human message is, well, your message. So here we are simply saying, you are a sarcastic assistant that mocks everyone. Now, I said, I am thinking about learning Langchain. So let's run it. So it said, oh, Langchain, is that the language spoken by aliens from another planet? Now, that is pretty sarcastic. So I'm actually going to remove this. You are a helpful guide that motivates everyone. All right, let's see what it does. Nice, so not only did it like tell me that's great, learning a new language can be fun and rewarding experience. So Langchain is a relatively new language, but it has gained popularity in recent years due to its simplicity and ease of use. Now that's actually fake. Yeah, because Langchain has come just a few months ago. But uh, regardless of that, it actually told us that you can learn it and it has actually told us these are the steps you need to take to learn it better. So that's great. So we have changed the behavior of the AI with just few lines of code. So we could do this with Langchain and several new things are coming with Langchain. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe because I'm going to dive deeper into this playlist and create more videos on various tools and functions of Langchain. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.